Top of the morning, evening, night, or day, ladies and gentlemen. This is me here today on behalf of Well Prepared Man, and I'm genuinely excited for today's video. I hope everyone's well and good, and let's get started with today's video. Roll the intro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain, and the following video is for subscribe devices only. So in this week's video, I was going to discuss something entirely different, which was that time a dude hit on me. But it didn't really seem like something I wanted to talk about on a regular basis. So I did end up deleting that video. And since I'm a little bit ahead of my schedule, I thought, you know what? I got time to fiddle around with this. And today we're going to be talking about bicycles instead. I'm way more excited about that. I didn't quite complete the Portuguese bicycle series because there was one bicycle still to be repaired. But your boy is on a productive roll. I did it. So we're gonna go outside and check out this bicycle. This is a Ye yeah, Ye yeah bicycle from the 1970s and I'm generally excited about talking to you about this bike. So let's go ahead and do that. This particular bicycle is a Ye yeah Ye yeah bicycle which is the same brand that we've been exploring here in my last couple of videos. And uh, this is a very special bicycle. For starters, it's one of my favorite. And it's one of the cheapest Yeah Yeah bicycles in my collection. I bought this for 30 euros and it didn't look like this at all. It basically had some modern black bars, which almost made me puke. And the wheels, they weren't in great condition either. So I did do some work here. It's not a lot of work compared to some of my previous projects. And uh, this bike is a pleasure to ride. I'm going to show you this bike in a little bit more detail because I did change a few things over here that I'm super happy. For starters, let's talk about the handlebars. So here in the handlebars, you will see that this bike has got no brakes. And I did this because I really wanted a clean looking front here in the bike. This bell that you see here, it sounds beautiful but it's not the original bell from this bicycle. I basically improvised a little bit here <laughs> so I could get this bicycle on the road as fast as possible. Originally, this bike had uh, three gears, internal hub, speed shifter, <laughs> and uh, it was very old. It didn't really work properly. I couldn't screw in the, I don't know what you call it in English, but the three-speed internal hub cable has a, a piece which you screw inside the wheel and the inside of the wheel was so used that I couldn't screw anything in there. So I basically had to remove the original wheel. And I was thinking about getting another three-speed internal hub until I started thinking, right? And I didn't want to go through all that trouble. I basically wanted something simple that i just pick up and ride. And that's essentially what we got here. Here we have a single speed hub with coaster brakes. Where are they? There, <laughs> there, right there. To break the spike, you just pedal backwards and essentially that's how it breaks. So having done this, I was able to remove the back brake from the bike and I also removed the front brake just because I wanted the front to be as clean as possible. And that's basically how we got to here. It looks very beautiful, very simplistic, and I love the bike. I've got a few more things to do here. I want to put a headlight and a tail light on the bike, but I still haven't got around to doing it. I just got it to riding condition last week, and uh, this is what it looks like. Here in the front, we've got a dynamo, which is gonna allow me to power the lights, but I haven't got anything in here yet. So this is a project for the future. Right here, we got a brand new 26 inch wheel. And um, I ordered these from my guy in the north of Portugal. If you're looking for bike parts, drop it down in the comments and I'll leave you his contact details. Anyway, this bike is in pretty good condition. You can see that we still have the musical notes over here and on the other side as well. There you go guys, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we've got a fat stripe here in the back, which I think it makes this bike look really beautiful. And again, it follows the rest of the bike. It's 
kind of like a theme really you got this stripe over here as well just looks really cool the painting of this bike is the best out of the three yeah yeah bicycles that i have this one is in the best condition overall and we can really see that this bike is an artwork i love it just actually this thing doesn't belong here they used to have a round one but i haven't bought it so we're still rolling with this for the meantime and um, i don't really like it these were originally round and i think round is how it should have stayed but at some point the last owner swapped this out and he swapped the handlebars out which like i said at the beginning of the video it made the bike really horrible but your boy has got some time patience and connects so right now this is what the bike is looking like the seat is original this is the seat that came with the bike and you can see that it's it's seen some better days <laughs> you can really see the shape of the metal frame here up top so it could do with some reupholstering i think that's what you'd call it in english but for the meantime it's still here what else is there to say about this bike not much it's missing the original lights like i said so i put this one here this really cheap light that just allows me not to get ran over at night time <laughs> and uh yeah, I got to do the wiring job in many different bicycles. I just got to fix one bicycle. And this is what she looks like right now. This is gonna be a work of art. Look at the freaking frame. After that bicycle is in riding condition, I'm then gonna proceed and wire them all up so they have electricity. Anyway, this is my favorite Yeah Yeah bicycle, a model from the 1970s, originally with three speeds, but I've converted this bike into a one speed with a coaster brake because I really like the simplicity of how it rides and the maintenance. It's so very little. As long as the tires are filled, I'm just going to grab this bike and go whenever I want because it requires so little maintenance that as long as the tires are filled, I know there's probably not a lot that can go wrong with it. So, yay! <laughs> but over time i'm gonna complete it i'm gonna put the tail light the front light the support fender because he used to have a, a chrome support fender there in the back and i'm gonna put the original bell i hope you have enjoyed this quick tour of this bicycle it's like i said one of my favorite bicycles and i hope you've enjoyed having a look at this machine as much as I've enjoyed putting it together because when it came to me it wasn't in a very rideable state and now it is and uh, that's the reason why we're alive to enjoy these things and hopefully share them with people who actually enjoy them as well so I want to thank you for sticking with me up until the very end I hope you have the rest of an amazing day and that you tune in for future videos this is your boy vlogging out peace